All right. I'm sorry we tried to deliver this while you were out, Moyes. And this is Deals on Wheels. A ruck of really good blading clips from the week. Unbelievable the elite level that Farmer still skates at. He's known for doing pretty wild stuff, but this one, a parallel grab disaster fish, that's got to be pretty rare. Can't think of the last time I've seen somebody do that, and he's done it amazingly well. He's got the grab on there early, he's floated it onto that second part of the rail, styled it out, lies of control, man, wild. Just the control on that front torque, and it's grabbed as well. So like stays perfectly straight for the second part of the trick, rides the top sail out pretty far, and China's wearing shades. I, ca I, ca I can't skate with sunglasses on. So that's a bit of respect there as well. Oh, this. This is fucking, fucking sick. Kaidi Rafna is probably one of the most stylish skaters around at the moment. And this is a good example how you can make a simple budget trick, which most people would probably make look bogging, look incredible. He's got loads of style in there, nice clean separation from the torque to the fish. Got an amazing position on the fish, fully focused on that. Got the 360 out as well. <laughs> Exquisite execution. few things I like about this one, first the nutty obstacle that he's grinding, that curve looks proper tricky to get any kind of trick on it, then he's gone into it from a mono roll, almost like a fast tap to it, which is really interesting, the fish is slapped on, proper styled out, held for a decent amount of time on that weird curve and he's got the 180 out. I really like it when Eugen keeps things more simple, I think he's really good at it. When you're keeping things simple, you've got to have bags of style, which he's got in abundance. So he's made it look friggin' amazing. Simple trick, mega styled out on an awkward obstacle. Can't argue with it, it works. This spot looks raucous. And you know, if you went there in real life, it'd be, what, at least 20 times worse than what you think it'd be. Absolutely bogging. Fair play to Jamie for smashing this one out. It makes it really interesting. Everybody's seeing like super smooth roll-ups to ledges, great runaways, great landings, like everybody's seen it. And it kind of, you know, as much as you can go absolutely wild on those spots, it's definitely not as interesting. It definitely doesn't capture your attention as much as a bog in spot. Because you just don't know what's gonna happen. A lot of unknowns. He smashed out that top sole, jumped into the friggin' slide, <laughs> which looks insane in itself. Then he's fired out a nice abstract 540 at the wind. <laughs> nice one, man. Duran's got a nice 270 in-spin to the wall ride. It's a fair huck. He's got good purchase on the wall, you know, two feet on the wall. He's in a good position on the wall ride, comes out clean, little shuffle like almost 180 when he's on the floor. Right. I just really liked it. Nice and smooth, solid landing on the wall ride. So a couple of deals here. You wanna see some live deals. Get on down to the Capital Rollers London Jam. This weekend, this Saturday, Thamesmead. Man, you know for sure it's gonna kick off it's going to be well attended, it's going to be an amazing day. They've got a ruck of sponsors, but there's one I'd really like to talk about called Skate to Create Foundation. So they're a charity dedicated to igniting passion in young people and promoting rollerblading. They've got a couple of programs going on that they want to set up. First one is a free skate school running from Bay 66, and that'll be a couple of times a week, potentially then moving to another London skate park as well. They want to offer equipment so it's really accessible. You know, you don't want that to be a block for some young kids wanting to get into rollerblading, doesn't have a pair of skates, can't get a hold of a pair, but they want to be able to give them a pair as well so they can learn. They'll be working closely with youth centres in the area. The second is helping support the scene in Morocco where it's difficult to get hold of aggressive skates. What's vital for their cause is donations of skates, skate parks, protection, especially small skates 
and padding in good condition. Now, if you're going down to the jam, you've got some skates you don't really use anymore, man, give them to this cause. Bring them along with you, donate them, help some young kids in London get into rollerblading, help the youth out in Morocco who can't get access to aggressive skates, help them get involved in it. Really cool project. I've got a link to both those Instagrams. Get over there, find out more information and support. Man, I love this clip. And I'm a big fan of Tommy's skating. No wasted energy, everything's really concise. Fires out to that rock for the wall ride, then kind of compression pops out of it. Top half stays relatively still and in the same position. And his legs do the work. Sets himself up to get a good jump up them stairs and get the 180 away. Full of style and it's filmed amazingly. You might have noticed that I'm a fan of people who do grinds and then land in really specific areas. I like that extra element at the end where they've actually got to get it perfectly right. Something more to aim for, bring a little bit more to the trick. And this is a really sick example. Tommy's got the sweaty, he's got the spin and he lands on the little ball. Man, I absolutely love that. Check out his feet as well. Really together on the spin, on the ball and on the landing. Just this amazing position. Looks fully in control, really elevates the trick. He's the best. Love it. What a sick way to get into the grind. Now I've seen Yandriel do a few things from like med spins or like alley mono rolls, whatever you want to call it. In this situation, he's done like a med spin and he's actually gone illusion. So he's looking that way, but then spinning the other way to the top sole, gets the top sole nice and clean, continues to spin out. Mate, you nifty. Now you probably see top soles all the time. How do you make them better? You throw some style in there and a compression pop, Louis Kang out the end. Mate, amazing. The rail looks dead eye. Matt's got loads of style on it. Kind of kicks out of Louis Kang. It's almost like a pressure pop, like it's got loads of weight on it and just fires out. Gets the 180 as well. Mate, brilliant. Take a trick that's done all the time, make it banging. Bow, 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 bow. King of Cleveland, King of Style, Ryan Parker, bloody hell. Man, normally I think you'd see this trick or this combination from like a back torque to the true top acid, but he's gone for the back backside, which I like straight away, makes it a little bit different, maybe even a little bit more awkward. Doesn't really lend itself for spinning into the trick, but he's done it and made it look really stylish. Position on the true top acid as well. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Stick in with Ryan Parker and a hurricane topsail. Now if you say hurricane topsail, that doesn't mean I'm just instantly gonna put it in deals on wheels. No man. But when it's done as good as this, that's when it gets included. Super style, feet lock in at the same time, which I think is so key. You see so many people, because it's a bloody hard trick, they swing it round, they get like the topsail foot first, and then the groove foot comes, but now nah, he's straight in. He's got some wicked height above the rail to get onto it. And he just cruises it out in a nice cool position. Mate, that's how you do it. It's also good because I think traditionally with Ryan you see him do more like super stylish technical switch ups. So this one's a bit of a surprise probably for a few people. And it's good. It's like that he's gone up there and gone, oh yeah, by the way, I can do this. And I can do this bloody amazingly. So amazingly that I'll win the competition. Jobs are good. And that's the deals this week. Let me know who's was your favourites in the comments below. Get yourself over to bladerunion.com for everything in rollerblading. It's all there, man. They've got a mobile app as well, so you can get this info out on the go. If you want to support Blader Union, help keep this show going, help keep Biz doing his thing, there's a link to the Patreon in the description below. Every little bit helps, man. Give us a follow, yeah? And we'll do it all again next week. Spotty dog.